Hi fam. Um, today we'll be talking about order blocks, right? Um, order blocks is a very important concept in trading, right? In trading, you must understand what order blocks are because they give you um an edge in trading, all right? So let's we'll go simply to the definition of order blocks, all right? Okay, all right. Order blocks. Okay. Right. Uh, simply rise levels where the big traders turn the market to a specific area of interest. Right. So the other blocks are simply price levels where the big traders turn the markets to a specific area of interest, all right? Okay, for instance, um, the market was bearish, okay? The market was bearish, it was making, um, it was just selling down, selling, sorry. For instance, the market was bearish, right? It was just selling down, selling down, Selling down, right? Doing this, and then suddenly you see this, you see this, right? You see something like this, right? So, all this sell move, right? Uh, this was a downtrend. Then suddenly you see this. At this point, all right? At this point, we have what we call another block because it's where the market, um, you see that heavy move, all right? It's where the market uh, makers where they turned price to their level of interest. Okay, it's called another block. It's called another block. All right. So another block is the is the, uh, the price levels where the big traders turn the market to a specific area of interest. And I to know about other block is that All right. Um, let me, let's make the font smaller. Uh, okay. All right. Let's make our font smaller. Um, let's clear this. All right. Okay. Other blocks are also all right. Footprints or markers for the big triggers, right in the future. Right. Um, what I mean by this is that um, the other blocks, let's make it smaller. The other blocks are also footprints, right? They are footprints or markers for the big traders in the future. That means um, if they leave a marker here by creating an other block here, right? Sometime in the future, when price comes down to that point, all right? When price comes down to that point, all right? Since they left a marker there, most times they would place more buy orders there and the market will, call, call, do this, right? So these other blocks are also markers for the big players in the future. That means they have marked this level, all right? This level where the price turned, all right? So there was a sharp turn, all right? To another, another level of interest becomes a marker. It becomes a point of interest for them, all right? This is how they trade. They usually leave it um, at... Um, specific levels all right um let's not add another thing all right um let's add another thing other blocks other blocks right are specific all right candles yes the specific candles right a specific candle or areas all right unlike like demand and supply zones or support and resistance, all right? Other blocks are specific candles or areas on like um, the support or resistance or supply or demand zones. That means another block is usually a specific candle. A particular candle is what makes the um, other block, all right? A specific candle is what makes up the other block, right? 
Okay, now let us um, let us go more into the details. All right, let's use uh, let's define it based on the bullish and other nature and bearish nature. Right, let's do that based on right. Now, um, let us try to define the types of other block we have. Right, we have two major kinds of other blocks. All right, we have the bullish. Right, have the bullish Kobe, right, and it is the last bullish. Sorry, it's the last bearish candle, not bullish. It's the last bearish candle. All right, it's the last bearish candle before the move down. All right. So is the last, sorry, 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 before the move up, what am I saying? Before the move up, right? So a bullish order block is the last bearish candle before the move up, right? And the bearish OB, right, is the last bullish candle, right? Candle before the move down All right so this is the kind of other block we have is the last bullish candle before the move down that is a bearish other block the last bullish candle before the move down right you can always put this in your charts All right you can always put this in your chart let's make this bigger so you can see clearly All right okay so yeah um, the bullish the bullish other block is the last uh bearish candle before the move up and this is the last bullish candle before they move down, all right? So for this is an example of a um, bullish order block. The last um, bear candle, there's the last sell candle before this move up is the other block. I say that um, other blocks are specific levels, all right? They're specific candles, all right? Um, let's assume, let us use our um, real charts to illustrate this, all right? Let's use our real chart to illustrate this, all right? Now, for instance, all right, for instance, we are looking at um, VIX 75, it's a synthetic in this, all right. Now, if you're looking at this chart, all right, let's look at this closely, all right? Sorry. Okay. Let's look at this closely, all right? Now, as you can see, there was a move down, the market was moving down, all right? This one looking down, then, you saw this candle before this move up, all right? So this bullish candle, this last bullish candle can be seen as our order block, all right? This bullish candle. So we can just highlight the candle and extend it to the future, right? So this candle becomes our bullish order block because it is the last bearish candle before the move up. So this is a bullish order block, this particular candle here, this last candle. So, so maybe if sometime in the future, price comes down, maybe you see price come down to this point, um, you should expect a kind of reaction. The price may react at the open price or may come as low as the 50% of this candle and then rally back up, right? So this candle becomes a bullish other block. Why? Because it was the last candle before this, um, before this sharp move that has taken this, right? This buy has been up on for this. Yeah, right, so we can call this our bullish. We can call this our bullish order block. Right, so you can call this our bullish order block. Let me highlight that. I want us to see this thing. Right, so you can call it our bullish order block because it's the last bearish candle before. All right, before the move up. The bullish, that's the bullish order block. All right. Right. So it's a, bull, a bullish order block, this particular candle here. All right. So that is it for um, bullish order blocks. All right. Let us look for another example of this on our charts, on our charts, on our charts, on our charts, on our charts. All right. But this knows that this was a bearish market, though. This has been a bearish market. All right. This has been a very bearish market. All right. So this candle you see here. Um, it's a kind of bullish other block because after this candle, so this move up, but the sell momentum was kind of strong, could not hold price, it still had to go down, right? 
we, we can always see this look at this look at this long cell look at this after this candle, you see the sharp move that took this so if you highlight this candle right if you highlight this last um, bearish candle right and extend it to the future all right if you highlight it and extend it to the future all right send it to the future okay you can see how it's played out um the market um up then look at this tap here it tapped into the candle and then it bought for about two or about three days right about two or about three days right so this is um it about bullish other blocks right this market has been a bearish market so you must always take note of the trend of the markets all right this is a bullish other block the candles came here and then tapped here and then went up but you can see it's still broke this has been a very strong bearish market all right so you should always take note of the trend before trading other blocks and all of other stuff. So um, let us look at the bearish other block, right? Now, the bearish other block, I said, is the last bullish candle before the move down, all right? The last bullish candle before the move down, right? Let us look at our chart closely to see um, if we can find any of this, right? So this candle here becomes a bearish other block, right? As you can see, um, if you do this, this candle here becomes a bearish other block, right? This candle here of the open price, right? If you extend it, this is a bullish other, a bearish other block because it was the last bullish candle before this that took place for this sell here. So this is a kind of other block, right? And you can see that as price came and tapped somewhere very close to it, I think it just approached a bit and then it says, so sometimes price may not really tap into the candle itself, may just come close to the area, right? Let us look for another bearish other block. Let's look for another bearish other block. All right. Um, this is the eight hour time frame. Let's go to a smaller time frame. Um, I'm not able to see this thing clearly. All right. Let's go to a smaller time frame. They are trying to spot other blocks. All right. Trying to spot other blocks. Okay. Now, like I was saying, um, yes, 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 yes. This is a one hour time frame. This is a one hour time frame. Okay. Is the one hour time frame. I'm trying to look for a bearish other block here. Okay, yeah. Look at this example here. Look at this was the last bullish candle before this long move down, right? So you can call this a bearish other block, right? If you extend it to the future, right? If you extend it to the future, sorry, this is the future. You are extending from the open price, right? You are going from the open price down to the close price of this candle. This was the last bullish candle for this move down. So this is bearish other block. And as you can see, price came and tapped somewhere between the 50% of this candle. And then you see this little cell. Although the market was seriously bullish, but if you took this cell, this cell lasted for about one to about, let's say, lasted for a while. Though. There is a, it was some kind of range, but it was a very sharp entry right here. And then it came down to the next, you have taken a point at the next, this is a kind of support, right? This is um, the last, um, bearish candle before the push up so this is another kind of other block too right so you are taking yourself from here down and close somewhere around here which is also an other block right this is how to trade other blocks right you're trying to trade in line with the trend with the the trend don't always trade against the trend always spot bullish other blocks that are in line with the trend all right they can give you sharp entries right to trade other blocks you can either play the open price or the 50 percent right to play other blocks, right? You can play the open price or 50% of the candle, all right? All right, you can play this or the 50% of the candle in line with the trend, right? You don't want to trade against the trend, right? You can play the, 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 the open price, right? You can play the open price or the 50% of the candle in line with the trend. You don't want to trade, you don't want to trade against the trend. If it's a bullish market, you're trading with other blocks in line with the trend, all right? Um, this is a very sweet, uh, good way to, to take your trades. So always trade in line with the trend, not against the trend, all right? You wait for a price to retrace to another block and then you take your trade, all right? This is how to trade in a way that makes sure that your trade is uh, maximized, all right? Uh, what else? Okay.
Um, I said I thought about how to determine the trend of the markets and all of that in um, one of my previous video. All right, so if you have not um, subscribed, I mean, if you have not watched our video, go back to our market structure videos. We make we made some wonderful videos on market structure. All right, it is market structure um, one to market structure six. All right, so do well to watch it. So this is how to play um, um, trade other blocks. I hope this helps. I hope this um, you add this to your trading arsenal. All right, so in our next video, we'll be taking the other block to a new level. All right, in the next level video, we're talking about. Um, special kinds of other blocks, all right? And the mitigation OB and breaker, sorry, breaker blocks. All right, there are kinds of other blocks though. They're just a little bit complex, all right? So we're talking about the mitigation blocks and the other breaker blocks. So this is how to trade when we align with what the big traders are, are doing, all right? You don't want to trade against them. All right, so do well to do that. So um, we also offer we offer offer um, forex tutorship. All right, we offer forex tutorship or mentorship or whatever you want to call it. All right, we offer tutorship or mentorship. If you want to register for tutorship or mentorship, all right, we have two kinds of courses. We have the beginner, all right, the beginner course. The beginner course goes for as low as um $25, right? The beginner course goes for as low as $25. And the master, right? Our master course, it goes for as low as, um, we have brought it down to $65, all right? And we brought it down to um, $65, all right? But if you want the boots, boots, both of them goes at a discount, right? At a discount of sixty dollars. Right. If one both of them, you get that the discount of sixty dollars. Right. You'll be saving about twenty dollars on the on on that. If you enroll for our, um, if you enroll for both of them, the sixty five. So pay ninety dollars. I pay sixty. Right. So you can always do well to um send. I uh, can be able to send an email, all right, to Electron Global, all right, at gmail.com. If you want to register for our course, you can do it to register, send an email to Electron Global at gmail.com or the link below. I hope we we're able to help you with our video. Right, it's a very wonderful video. So, cheers and uh, God bless. All right, okay. So, I think we'll be ending here. Okay. So, um, just do well to do this, and you will be okay.